I'm standing here today in um, the New Standard Works, which is a building that the Ruskinville Land Trust bought in December 2013. And we are going through the process of restoring it. It's been empty for 20 years, and uh, currently it holds an education college for young people who learn disabilities. Um, but over the four floors, we've got lots of plans about how we want to change it. On this floor, the ground floor, uh, where I'm standing now, we're going to have an artisan bakery, a training kitchen and community workshops and a lovely cafe for local people. With the cafe there'll be a heritage lounge which is really exploring the whole heritage of this area. Down in the basement we're going to have a hall, community hall, a performance space uh, which will be used for our students as part of their performing arts curriculum but also um, available and open to all the community to use as well. So one of the most exciting parts of the project is going to be the rooftop garden. Uh, just above where I'm standing over here, there is a large flat roof which we have strengthened and it's going to hold um, eventually a biodome. So if you think of it like a mini Eden project here in the jewellery quarter. And we've been working with our architects and we're coming up with some fantastic concept sketches of something that's going to be a real wow factor for this building and something quite unique. And the other thing we want to have up there is bees as well because we're conscious that Bees are thriving better in an urban situation than they are in the countryside because of the levels of pesticide. So that's all really important for us. So people will be able to come into the jewellery quarter, um, have jewellery quarter honey and be able to eat pure sunshine. I think what's really fantastic about being able to interpret the history here is that the New Standard Works is very much a microcosm of really everything that took place in the jewellery quarter because so many different things were manufactured here. There were printers here, there were um, stampers, pressers, jewellery manufacturers, they were making the, the, the sort of the toy boxes but there were also later on there was um, car pressing and engineering here so really we are very much representing the history of the quarter really um, all in one place. The work that I'm doing is looking around shaping the plans uh, for volunteering, for activities, for events. For me, um, this has been a really interesting project because it's not just about consulting with people, it's been testing approaches about how we might engage in the future. And one of the things I did was um, with Nelson Primary School and we sent out the Year 3 group, the 60 of them, um, Year 3 Busy Bees we called them, and the link to the potential beehive on the roof, sent them out gathering community memories. What's special about New Standard Works is the whole pattern of history that lives in this building. The Ruskinmill Land Trust makes a point of buying buildings like this that have got this heritage of skills. They're beautiful buildings. I mean, it looks amazing from the outside, this building. Um, and what you have in there is this, um, this history of ingenuity and skill and craftsmanship which then we can take into our curriculum so it becomes part of what we do with our young people. So what I love about my job is the fact that I have the opportunity to bring people into these wonderful semi-derelict spaces and really give them an experience of heritage before it changes. So that's the best bit for me on every project is bringing people into the spaces to reimagine the potential um, but also just enjoy soaking up the smells and the sounds and the, the temperature and the feel and, and the flaky paint. We have a strap line in Ruskin Mill Trust which is reimagining potential. And although you could say that is about how we reimagine the potential of every young person that comes towards us, um, it's also about how we might reimagine the potential of a fantastic building like this. Um, you know, because it's been empty for 20 years, how do we take it and give it a new life, a new sense of identity, um, repurpose it? So that's what sits behind here, really important.